Hey everybody and welcome back to Falcon Place Managed and we're doing good so far. We had a tumultuous like two episodes or so where things look kind of hairy. Like they looked okay on paper. Or I mean they looked really terrible on paper. But in reality we kind of were pulling through in a weird way. Or like you know like suffer in order to kind of achieve and gain type of way. But as you can see here our, foot, our firewood supply is still relatively low. But our food is at a constant 2000 now. Which honestly, um, really does make me happy, but as to our expectations. Our tools are at 80, which probably means it's probably be time that I, um, enable my dude to start working over here again. So if that is going to be the case, let me make sure to enable a actual, let me see. Let me enable uh, a blacksmith is what I'm trying to get at over here. Sorry, my simpleton mind is having a hard time <laughs> dealing with everything that's going on on screen right now. So builder, let me have you be a blacksmith for now. Alright, so we're gonna have a blacksmith, we're gonna have the woodcutter as well, and okay, good. So that's gonna help us out to a degree as well. Um, this guy is, uh, has a question mark, meaning he has absolutely nothing to do, which is pretty goddamn amazing of him. I I'm really surprised, I really want to know how it is that he found nothing to do. Citizen, uh, Citizen Joniel, a forester. Hmm. Interesting. Why don't you have anything to do, though? Not entirely sure, but let's check out our jobs really quickly here. Well, what I wanted to do to is actually probably start thinking about um, giving these guys, um, what was it? A little bit of entertainment. Like, you know, maybe a barkeep, maybe a church to go and, you know, praise whatever deity they uh, express their religion to. You know, just things like that. So, um, I do want to do that, but first and foremost, Fisherman 204, that's perfectly fine. 105 is 6. Oh, we have an extra forest, there's a problem here. Okay, so how about... We knock that down and make you a builder then, because building is still a main priority of us. And other than that, let's see here. I did have this going and being built in order for us to kind of get a leadway to here. And this will give us another new untapped resource that I will basically take advantage of soon. Just not right now, right now, but soon. Soon enough, I will. And let's see, here is one of our crops fields. We have the wheat over here, we have the corn, and we have some beans. And then over here is the our wanted supply. And our sheep, oh yeah, our sheep are actually reproducing quite well. We have 4 of 12 now, which is pretty good. Uh, we only have one herdsman though, so we could probably even give this guy some help at some point or another. Over here is when I kind of want to set up another crop field, or maybe even a cattle, I guess uh, a place to uh, grace cattle and whatnot. But I did set up a special order with the merchant, I'm just kind of waiting on him to come around for that. Uh, I realize I'm doing a lot of talking, not a lot of playing, so I apologize for that. Let me just get some action going on meanwhile. I'm just trying to get uh, my, my, I guess my ideas into words that kind of um, make them happen and whatnot. See, a child named Roderick was born and a child named Lavery was born. Alrighty, so uh, we have five children now. We have some houses that need to be built still and that'll get done at some point or another, I'd imagine. So what I want to do then is actually do what I said, which is uh, give them some sort of entertainment. So for that, we have to go into town services. Alrighty. We have a well, provides water for putting out fires. Um, hopefully it doesn't count out that. I don't think that's a really big necessity just yet, so let's not do that. Schoolhouse, used to educate children and citizens to be more productive. Now this seems really, really beneficial to us. I don't see why we would not have that. So let me actually, that's something I should have probably built a long time ago as a matter of fact. So let me actually have the schoolhouse, uh, I would say right about here in the middle of the town so basically all the kids could go to school together and you know just be nice happy friends and be like you know just go to each other's door and be like hey you want to go to school together like, yeah sure why not there we go so alrighty that'll put be set up right there hospital not just yet town hall used to record and show census data chapel provides happiness for the devout and a place to meet and worship and then prevent citizens from becoming sad when their elders die now that happened already we already actually have lost one or two people due to old age so, um, it's probably in our best interest to probably even set up a cemetery here so that, um, we don't necessarily, um, get too sad when, um, you know, Grandma, Grandma Emma dies or something like that. Because, you know what, she was like 97, guys, you know, it's like the 1600s, 1700s right now. I mean, if she lived to be 97 and she died during this age, then you should be quite fucking happy. That would call it a miracle, to be quite honest. Um, so a funeral would be, uh, somewhere a little bit more removed, though, I'd like to imagine. Not near a school. I mean, have the school- have the cemetery right behind the school. That's not gonna freak out the kids or anything. So, how about we... set up a cemetery... I would say just about... Oh, what's a good spot for this goddamn thing? I mean, you wanna be able to worship it, though, right? I guess, so... <laughs> just along the road on the way to a work. <laughs> How grim is that? It's so grim that I'm gonna actually make it happen. Oh god damn, I just realized my firewood is gone. 
I'm over here dicking around so much with this. What happened to my firewood? We have all the uh, the stored logs in the world. Why is my firewood not being developed here? Do we need more people for that? Maybe. God, we might we might need another fire another woodcutter. Quite honestly, that's pretty goddamn impressive. Alrighty, uh, can I just assign more people to this? No, it does not seem that way. Can you go cut some? All oh, your happiness is down. Is that what happened there? She's idling. She's not cutting wood because she's unhappy. Why are you unhappy? What was it? Was the elder that died your your, I guess relative of some sort? I guess that was what happened there. Okay, so let me pause this. Let me try to cheer that woman up after we get this uh, funeral home going. Maybe that's the reason why we really need stuff like that going on. Quarries cannot be renewed once split. Used to mine stone from the ground. Hey, I wonder if this has anything to do with coal, maybe? Mine, uh, oh, used to mine iron and coal out of the ground. Mines cannot be removed once... Oh, nice. Holy shit. This would be goddamn sweet. Maybe we could uh, figure out a way to work it properly here. This is, oh, so this has to be part of a mountain, obviously. So say we were to do something like... So would it work? Oh, man, we're so close. Oh, right there! <laughs> oh, nice! Okay, so that's actually something to think about doing next, for sure. Um, but yeah, I wanted to set up the the cemetery. So, cemetery is gonna go, uh, whatever, you know, fuck it. If you see him on your way to work, then you see him on your way to work. Cemetery is too small. Too small, man. How long do you want the cemetery to be, man? Okay, well. How about we make it this way? Alright, 10 by 8, 10 by 10. So that'll be the cemetery right there. And that'll get done at some point or another. Now, this woman is refusing to actually be... and do any, um... Any goddamn work. So, let's see. If that's gonna be the case, then you could just fuck yourself from being my woodcutter, then. How about that? And let me actually give that job to somebody who's actually gonna do some work for me. So, let's say here, uh... What can I actually, I guess, pass up on right now? I guess we could do a little bit of... Fisherman could go away, and, uh... We'll have him be the new woodcutter, essentially. Okay. And then there you go. There you go, good. So that woman refuses to work, this guy is not, and there we go. So the reserve of stone is low yet again. That's probably because our blacksmith's been doing some work now. Because my tools were kind of low over there momentarily, so I had to do it either way. Uh, we'd have a lot of iron, it's just stone that we're low on. I wonder if we could, if we could just probably build a quarry, it'll probably help us out a bit more than actually just trying to look for stone every single fucking moment. I guess the other upside would be just to kind of take this down over here. This is stone, right? Apparently I can't tell stone and, yeah, this is actually stone and some iron here. So how about we just gather some of this up? We have two people not knowing what to do, it seems. Let's see here. Uh, 5 of 8, 11 of 8, 4 of 8, Hunter 5 of 6, Woodcutter 2 of 6. There's absolutely no reason why nobody... Oh, well, actually, my bad. What the hell am I even talking about? This is just on question mark because I don't have anybody to trading post, but I did that purposely. Jesus Christ, I'm an imbecile sometimes, but that's no surprise. Now, is that the woman that's pissed off over there that has a question mark over her head? It probably is right now. This is, uh, Airy. Airy's getting something to eat. He's a woodcutter. Why aren't you fucking cutting wood? Go cut some wood. Okay, wood cutting at 17 now, so it's starting to slowly build. Building at 11 already. Oh, here comes another merchant. I wonder if this guy has my cat, or if he does, I don't really have much to trade with him yet again. <laughs> it's becoming a fucking basic thing every now and then now. It's like, what do you have? Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing at all, man. Uh... Oh wow, Mary the Herdsman was trampled by livestock. How do you get killed by sheep? Is the real question here. Okay. Uh, merchant, you need to relax right now. One of my people just had a devastating fucking accident here. Okay, uh, what can we do for that person? Uh, let's see, we could probably take one of these woodcutters away and actually have them work on being a herdsman. There you go. She doesn't want to cut wood, maybe she'll go ahead and deal with the sheep. Alright, so Merchant, what do you have for me? He has hide coats. Huh. 
that's not something I really need too much of, though, it seems, quite honestly. But, hmm, I guess we could probably buy a few. 120 is not going to really cost me that much, and I have a lot of stone. Oh. All of my stone is here is a problem. Okay, you know what, let me actually just give you um, firewood. Man, it seems we're probably low on that. Let me... Okay, let me just give you one stone. There you go, thank you. Uh, let's see, so we are done trading with this man. Um, let me knock this down, honestly. This, whatever we have here needs to go away. Let me have it just be re-indicted back into our stock, just because I feel that we're kind of suffering from actually dragging stuff over here. I'm only going to put stuff in here when there's a merchant around, how about that? I feel like otherwise it's kind of really dangerous for me. Um, I do need one person right now to kind of uh, move stuff around or move stuff out of here back into our stockpile area. So how about really quickly we take one farmer out of here, actually one vendor out of there, and then put him into the trader area and have him move that shit back into our stock. Okay, food is about to harvest soon enough, to a degree, I'd imagine. And I mean, uh, food's not really a problem anymore. It's just honestly keeping our stone supply up that's really kind of kicking my ass now. Um, they'll get this over here, but we're still not like at a good, honest like pace at all. Uh, blacksmith, I might have to tell blacksmith to kind of relax a bit. My sheep are multiplying though, so that is actually a pretty good thing. <clears throat> now, for the sheep, uh, I'm not entirely. Is it just to basically take their war? Is that what I'm? Kind of saving them for. <laughs> I really have to get the uh, the ba the bare basics behind. Uh, I guess their usage, I suppose. Other than like wool. Do I mean do I cut those motherfuckers up and like you know just kind of steal their hide and kind of wear it on me? Who knows? All right, the schoolhouse. All right, the schoolhouse is gonna need a. What is the schoolhouse gonna need? Okay, so I mean obviously need a teacher. So uh, let's see here. Where is my? What do I? What am I looking? My teacher. Okay. Teacher one. So, uh, we could pretty much have one of the builders be a teacher. There you go. Have fun. Have fun teaching the kids of tomorrow. Uh, that's good, though, because it'll make them, like, more efficient workers, too. So that's actually a pretty good plus. Now, other than that, let's actually take a quick little break here. And I did see all these extra things over here that I haven't been messing with just yet. Um, woodcutter. Forest Lodge, we've done that already. Herbalist, we've done that, we've done this. Taylor, used to make warm clothes to ward off the effects of winter. Now, this seems kind of really useful considering that we have those goddamn sheep, so maybe it's about time that we start thinking about adding one of these guys here. And I suppose for now, we could probably just have it even set up kind of like a little towny area over here. So this will be this guy's spot. And maybe... But some, uh, you know, we've had a reason. We've had like, you know, people dying recently, right? So maybe have a little bar and tavern as well to kind of cheer up people. Mine used to mine iron and coal out of the ground. Iron and coal. Iron is not too much of a big deal, but coal would be pretty nice. And what about this? Used to mine stone from the ground. Quarries can now be removed one place. So a quarry would be really good too, because honestly, I feel that we're having a really hard time keeping our stone supply up. So this would definitely work out to a degree for that. And quite honestly, if we even set it up, like, say, over here, it would work out to a goddamn perfection, honestly. We could even set it up, like, say, here, and then even build a bridge across. So let's have that built for sure. Alrighty. And then the mine is something I do want to get coal so we can start making some steel or, yeah, steel weapons. But I would have to set that up over here, so might as well, I guess, get the indication to it going. There you go, so have a little mine right there. So obviously we're going to have to focus a lot on building right now, so that's going to be a big, big major issue right now, but I feel that these things are honestly really help our, our colony as a whole together. So let's see here, maybe we could even knock down the gathering a bit and give more building, maybe even two less farmers, maybe three less farmers. What do we have here? Uh, stone is low, I'm aware, I'm aware, that's basically why we're building that stone quarry, man. Give me a second here. Uh, gatherer, fisherman. Hunter, five of six, woodcutter, forester, maybe we could even do... Oh, the trader is, is fairly done with. Fuck it. So, trader, you go away, and you go into building. And, oh, people are starving and cold, but we have food. 
firewood, not that much fire. Oh god damn it. Woodcutter. Woodcutter, man. Are you not doing your fucking job here? You cut that wood, man. There's people uh, freezing. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Blacksmith will continue doing his thing, right? I guess. Do I really need him? 123. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot of building right now, so you might as well keep our tools uh, supply up and running. Gathering. It's probably one that we could knock off for building and... I guess Forester as well. Alright, so let's do it this way. Okay. So right now we have, uh, what is it, 423 stored logs, uh, some firewood, not that much, but some that's about to drain out right now completely. Stored of this and this and food. Alright, we're out of firewood yet again, which is terrifying, but... Let's see, what the, uh, should I probably build another... I'd imagine a probably building another one of these would probably be the best thing I could do right now. Alright, we do have, a. Uh, the cemetery over here. That's supposed to keep people happy when people die, I guess. I'm not sure how. I guess my people are really fucking morbid. It's like, hey, you want to go to the cemetery and hang out? Yeah, totally. It sounds totally cool. All right. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but whatever, man. Whatever floats their boat. Now, let's see. What's going on over here? How is the process of our tavern and our tailor? Our tailor's going to pretty much help us out with um, not needing too much firewood, I'd imagine, but... Oof, man. We're going to die of fucking freezing if we don't get some firewood going, man. What's going on here? Firewood, or woodcutters, come on, man. We were definitely in a desperate need for some fucking wood. I mean, he's, he's making it. Just gotta store it. Store it away, man. Hey, where are these guys going? Where the fuck are you guys going? Are you still working on this side? Ah, oh, man. That's the last bit of it over here, so maybe they'll stop They'll stop collecting some of this stuff now, and then we'll start focusing a bit on more what's going on over here. So firewood is low, which is kind of really worrisome. Come on, guys. I mean, we do have it, it just hasn't been moved in there. Okay, so this is being laid down, the groundwork for this being laid down, and this as well. Okay, food. It's starting to grow back up gradually. I, I did knock a few farmers off of the rotation from that, which is a little bit worrisome, but at the same time, I feel that it's kind of needed. It seems that the quarry is going to be one of the first things they start working on here, which is kind of interesting. I, I set up the quarry, I set up the mine as well, right? And then I also, the school is right here. The school only has one student? Why is that? Oh, because we only have... No, we have ten children, though. Do I need to sign more? Uh... I'm not sure how, how would this work. Do I need more teachers per student? Is it like one student per teacher? That's ridiculous, man. What is this? I wish I had that sort of attention growing up. I had like, you know, a class of like fucking 30, 25, 30 kids per teacher. I had no single attention. I would have done probably a lot better in my life if I did. It's kind of like, teacher, I have a question. It's like, sorry, I can't help you right now. Mike has another question. It's kind of like, oh, Mikey already has questions all the time. Mikey's a lost cause, ma'am. Just leave him alone. Save me. <laughs> you're, you're forsaking all of us at once. Alrighty, our wood supply is at 274 now, firewood. Man, we're, we're starting to drop down again. But that is indeed because we are doing some work with um, hide codes. Okay. So, wool code. Warm code le requires leather and wool? Hmm. We have wool and we have leather. Okay. So, how about you build yourself some uh, leather coats, man? And build 50, I'd imagine. Or right, fucking make it 100 and f make 150 if you can. And let's see, I need to assign somebody for this task, obviously. So uh, that is going to be our tailor. Our right, Elizabeth Taylor. Let's uh, teach her. We only need one teacher. You only need one teacher, so I'm not sure why there's not enough kids in there. Um, what is it, Taylor, right? There you go. Excellent. So, that person will get ready and start building up some warm coats, and hopefully we could require less, uh... We'll require less, um... We'll fire with that way, I'd imagine. And hopefully the tavern gets built soon enough. Not really a priority, but whatever, I mean... I pretty much had it up and running, so I might as well get it built. Food is low. Stone is low. Food is low! Everything is low, everything must go! Or everything must not go, as a matter of fact. Everything must come, because we have absolutely nothing, it seems. Alrighty. Okay, we should be okay here. How are we doing in terms of, uh... These motherfuckers, how is your production going? Oh, you only have one person here gathering, it's a problem. Hmm. 
Let me give you an extra gatherer. Well, I mean, you were supposed to fucking gather. There you go. And what about your situation over here? Oh, this hasn't been built yet. Not that it really has to. How about... Let's pause the collection of Zerbalist thing. Not really a priority, so to say. Forestry is a priority, though. Woodcutting is a big deal. We're out of stone completely yet again, and our bar is good up, up and running, so maybe if they're intoxicated, they won't realize that they're, um, you know, starving. Alright, so this requires, uh... Food is low to a degree, okay. AO is for apples, berries, cherry, pear, plum, and wheat. What do we have an excess of? Venison, warm... Yeah, we have some warm coats going on here. Uh, let's see. Berries, venison, herbs... Where's our wheat at, man? Mmm, fish, berries. We have berries. I guess we'll make some berry ale for now. But, um... I mean, I'd rather have, uh, you know, some wheat beer. I mean, that's what the reason why I made the wheat field to begin with. Uh, let's see, brewer. Um... I guess I knocked this down a bit here. So, brewer, go ahead and do this. And we have a few extra people now, so... Let's actually go back and send my farming back in there. Uh, woodcutter, one of one. Save my fishermen. Give them a little bit more help, and then more for the gatherers. Okay, that'll work out, I guess. All right, up and running, and down, guys. There you go. We got some. Uh, we're gonna get some alcohol production real soon. So it'll probably shoot up the happiness straight up, and more than likely, it's gonna make them go through food a lot more <laughs> faster too. I'm not sure about you guys, but me, when I I, I, I don't really, I get the beer munchies, which is kind of weird to say, but like, you know, it's kind of like if I'm really fucked up, like, f food at that moment is like the greatest thing imaginable. Like, you know, if you get like, especially like, I'm not sure if you, if it's like me, just myself, but personally, if I'm just completely devastated, like, completely cunt-fucked, or I don't even remember my name, um, Asian food is the best, man. Doesn't matter what it is, Japanese, Chinese, uh, Taiwanese, Koreanese, whatever ease it is. It's goddamn amazing. Vietnamese, whatever, man. It's just fucking amazing. But that's just me, I guess. Uh, food is, uh, speaking of food, my food production is completely low. Uh, what is this telling me? The material required to perform is not available. Okay, well, that's goddamn shame. We're, we're about to harvest, though. We're about to harvest, so we're gonna have some wheat for you soon enough, I'd imagine. What do we have right now? Firewood, leather, iron, nothing there. Corn, venison, mushroom. I don't have any apples either. So let's just make it wheat, because I know that wheat is indeed coming. So, um, once the wheat is available, that guy will be able to do a sting right there. Yeah, there it is. Iron is low. Oh, iron is indeed low now. Huh. Some people are starving. Okay, okay. So what about this quarry? When is this going to get done? We don't have enough iron for the quarry is a problem. Okay, um, that's going to be a big concern. Um, iron, we need to find some iron now. As soon as possible, honestly. Um, iron. Is this iron? It should be iron. So, let's see here. Collect iron. So, let's see if we can collect this and let's see any iron around here. I don't think there is, quite honestly. Oh, there's a bit right there. Anywhere else? Nope. Alright, there you go. So, collect the fucking iron. Go ahead. Oh, here comes another merchant. Merchant, dude, I'm not ready for this just yet, man. You're, you're such a commitment sometime. Oh, there's some iron right here, as a matter of fact. How about you guys grab it from here and just... I guess fucking chug it to the side and there you go. You have all the iron you need. Oh, this merchant, man. I, don't, I really don't have the time for this merchant, dude. I mean, god damn it. What do you have this time? How, what type of temptation from the devil are you going to bring me this time? Like, naked women, I suppose. Like, you know, here, here you go. Childbearing women. They'll build you like cyborg humans that do like the job of like two men at once. Let's see here. What do you have though? Trade. Firewood, wheat, wheat seeds, and squash. Oh, you know what? I already have wheat seeds, but... Oh yes, firewood. <laughs> I have nothing to trade with him though. What is this? Is he selling squash? Like just... Oh yes, he, he has food. He has food for sale. He has wheat seeds and he has firewood. You know what? I really don't need any of that. The wheat seeds would be pretty interesting honestly to have like two sets of... I guess fields of wheat going, but uh, I suppose it's also not that much of a priority. So yeah, go ahead, man. Take off. I don't really need your help. What the fuck happened to my oak, oh, my quarry? Okay, it's just covered in snow. 
<laughs> for a second there. I was like, what? What happened to all the hard work I've been putting into this thing? Okay, so other than that, what else do we... What is this, Taylor? What? What is your problem now? Why not? Well, let's see. Warm coats, five. What do you need now? Leather? Is it leather that you need? Leather, 24, and wool, six. No, you should be good, man. Just keep building those warm coats. It's fine. What do you need now? Oh, shit. You're out of uh, wheat, huh? Well, get some berries if you can. You know what? You're going to go through my goddamn... Uh... Let me pause this really quickly here. Uh, let's check out what's going on with the... Where does the beer that you make go? FYI, just uh... <laughs> is it just straight down the belly of the drinkers? I'd imagine it's where it could go, but... I feel that this thing just fucking completely drained the shit out of my uh... Let's see here. Hey, you know what? Let me go ahead and uh... Stop the production over here in this guy here. And let me go back, and we should probably have an extra dude, right? Because the brewer's gonna be empty here. So let's go ahead and make him a... Uh, forester, fisherman, gatherer, hunter, four of six hunters, uh, I guess. Yeah, so let's make him a, a hunter, I imagine. And you know, during winter, do I really, I guess I leave him there. Now, if you guys know, do I need to keep farmers during winter? Because obviously they don't farm during winter, like, you know, there's nothing for them to farm. Do, do you have to keep them equipped, though, like, uh, as farmers? Because then once, I guess, winter end, they will just start farming again? Or can I, like, micromanage, like, say, momentarily take it off and then come back to it? I mean, I'm a little bit confused about that aspect. I'm also confused about the fact that our food is completely fucking out. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is no good at all. Oh, man, I don't think we're gonna make it now. Where's that merchant at? Oh, he left. Merchant, come back with the squash, man. <laughs> there he is. Uh... Can we assign a trader, like an emergency trader, before this guy books it? Dude, we could probably use a quash right about now, because we're about to be, uh... Not doing too good, honestly. Let me remove, uh, let's say, an herbalist for now. Make him a trader. <clears throat> and let's see, what do we have an excess of? Not much, honestly. Oh, fuck, we're low on just about everything. Uh, you want some iron tools, man? We have uh, iron tools all the way. Uh, no, not not purchase. I don't want to purchase that. Inventory. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Uh, iron tools, they said, right? Fuck, not 80. No, no, not that many, man. Let's make it like 40 or so, and then, fuck, we're just about out of everything again. That was a tough winter. Let's go this way, maybe. That'll get something going for us. Oh, fuck. Dude, our food is completely done. What the fuck happened? Was it the beer? Did I screw myself trying to make these people intoxicated? I probably did. I mean, this guy is pretty much done over here as well. We have a lot of, uh, sheep. Maybe it's about time to start killing some of these guys for some of that meat, man. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it otherwise. Um, how are we doing in terms of warm coats? Uh, I'd imagine pretty good. Alright, you know what? Let's actually halt the work over here as well. And let's, um, apply another... Where's the tailor at? Taylor, go away. Let me give you another... I guess Hunter would probably work at this point. Can I knock down these, uh, I'd imagine I could, right? Remove structures, yeah. This right here needs to be removed. They're, they're really not working out for me anymore. Okay. So we're about to pretty much starve to death. Uh, it's gonna probably happen. I'm not entirely sure what's, uh, how we're looking here, but I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna pretty much die of starvation. This winter is gonna pretty much kill us. We have absolutely no food, man. It's fucking ridiculous. What happened to, like, everything that we harvested? Did we just fucking throw it in through beer? Did the beer do all that? I guess it's true what they say, man. Beer will kill you after a while. I just didn't think it was gonna take one winter of drinking all the time. I'm telling you, see, that's what happened. They just got so fucked up. They were just drinking and drinking and drinking, eating and eating and eating. And that's what probably happened there, man. Look at our food, 138. We have so many people. It's not gonna afford all those people, honestly. Oh, boy, oh, boy. 
Alright guys, how about we call it an episode here today? We're in a really tumultuous spot. I mean, I feel like we hit a high spot where we kept on going up suddenly from the really shaky spot they were in, but now we're back in square one where it's just kind of like, oh, god damn it. Here we go again, and here we go again indeed. Uh, look at this, man. We have a lot of people. We have a lot of good resource setting up. This quarry is killing me. Goddamn fucking quarry. I thought it was going to save me all the issues in the world, but instead it's giving me more. The bar killed me. The tailor killed me. Oh, man. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, I encourage you to go and click that thumbs up button. The support really does mean a lot. And hopefully you guys want to stick around for the next episode and see how this kind of turns out. Oh, it's going to take a miracle, that's for sure. Either way, guys, I will catch you next time.